listening to Gas Digital, Best of the Week. Could make you cry. That's when you want to make your Irish goodbye. <laughs> whatever, everyone's starving and screaming. So I, I go, uh, whatever, I start, I start having this sandwich. And someone, this, this woman walks in, and I see this woman, and I immediately texted Erica, and I go, I don't know who this is that I'm looking at, but I just know from the way she carries herself or how strikingly beautiful she is. Just something yeah. about it, I'm like... The fact that people were tossing petals. Nobody was... And here's the thing. I was like, she. I all I know is that this woman is super famous. That's all I said to her, right? And then she comes and sits down two seats from me because there's the only three open seats left are right next to me. So she sits down right next to me. And I'm like, this woman... And nobody else is paying any attention to her. They're not even you're looking up. You're texting or on the phone? I'm texting. No, oh, I'm okay. texting. So I'm just finally like... If you're just like, error. There's, this is crazy. Yeah. She, yeah. She's eight inches from yeah, your yeah, head. Yeah. She can hear me, I think. <laughs> so I don't know who she is. Look up blonde. Yeah. <laughs> kind of tan, stares at you when you're on the phone. <laughs> so she, she, I look over and I'm just like, who? I don't know who she is. And she's like, ah, she's probably somebody famous, or whatever. So I go, yeah, because she looks young. I don't know. So then uh, two minutes later, I take another bite of the sandwich. I look up, and who joins her? But of course, uh, Justin Bieber. But of course, Justin Bieber. So that was Haley Baldwin. That's who that was that I was sitting yeah. next to. And I and then it was like you see Justin, and you're like, and then he's he's still walking towards me because I'm like, oh, but that means he's gonna he's gonna sit right next to. So I'm gonna be right. I'm gonna be next to the two most yeah. famous. Okay, so this is my lunch now. This sandwich just got worth it, you know. So I gotta tell you, my first instinct, and I just know it because I played it in my head. Right. Is when he would go to sit down, I'd put my finger under. <laughs> <laughs> I just try to give just him to a say little, you molested him. Oh, assaulted. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just a boom. Just a, and then if he reacts like, oh, you yeah. scamp, we're best friends. Yeah, and if he doesn't, uh, then I'm going to jail. Yeah, and it's worth it. I mean, you know for how many story. cigarettes I can get for a shit covered finger. Yeah, <laughs> Bieber finger. How hard are you pushing up that you're gonna go oh, through jeans? Hard, hard, hard. Yeah. So oh, he's wearing, no, he's wearing sweats. He was wearing sweats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know my beeves. <laughs> I know exactly how he dresses. I think he was. And wearing... they were baggier than is fashionable because he's trying to push the baggy nineties. Well, he thing. was wearing a baggy hoodie too yeah. and stuff like that. But he, but also she was like dressed like she was ready for the runway. She was yeah. instantly, you know, going. He is like, is she? Uh, does she? She looks really young though, right? Not like when I saw her. With, I I think I saw her on the street with like no glasses or anything like that, and I was like, "Oh, you look like you're at your sweet sixteen right now." No, she doesn't look I like Ariana. Hard as shit, dude. <laughs> she doesn't look like Ariana Grande, kind of like young, where you're like, "Oh, yeah. you look like a child," but she does look in her early twenty. Like she looks pretty young, yeah. Right. So so I'm just sitting next to them, and I'm just kind of like just observing behavior now. You know what I mean? I'm watching them order stuff, and <laughs> you're sniffing. She's already been there a while. He's just kind of on his phone. I mean, if I'm being, you know, I don't want to divulge too much about their personal life, you know, because we're divulge. This is a big scoop. Yeah, but I feel, uh, I feel. Hey, shitty. this is only what you witnessed, and right. this was in a public forum. What I witnessed, yeah. Although no judgments about their relationship or anything else, is that he was both. There you go. There's <laughs> that's. There's uh, the picture of us that we have together if you're watching. You alive. look uh, way more excited than they do. Well, she was actually excited. She was very nice. So let me explain. I'll back up and do this. Uh, so, uh, but that is just funny because people, I sent that to Alex just to be like, have this ready for the podcast. And she was like, is that Photoshopped? <laughs> it looks Photoshopped. <laughs> is that a cardboard cutout yeah. of them I at Coachella? Thought, uh, he went to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. <laughs> yeah. it, it just looks like you're standing in front of them. That, that oh, exact I thought, amount. Another, I yeah. thought you were going to say Feeny looked like the wax statue. <laughs> Version of himself. Another one of my friends was like, I zoomed in for the fucking to look up like Photoshop lines yeah. where it would be. I was like, Oh God, you really don't believe Seamless. it. Seamless. Yeah. So yeah. So good. So whatever. So uh, they didn't. They didn't really say two words to each other the entire time. I think oh, they were in a pretty trouble in paradise. They were in a, getting married in after two weeks. Pretty significant fight. Uh, but whatever it was, and he just. Uh, but I don't know, man. All I know is that. Whatever he, he happened, said he was ski bopping and whatever shoe happened, hooping, right? Whatever he happened the his... night before, uh, yeah, Biebs was uh, was not as was not himself. It he felt, was, he, he was, was a rickety boy. He, he looked a little uh, and jumping around. A lot of move, a lot of hand, a lot of washing the face, and a lot of like putting his head down on the counter and picking it back up, and uh, a lot of very... heavy get. Oh, mm. Ugh. But also, here's the thing too. It's like <laughs> I was thinking this. I go, maybe it's because like he's, he's on drugs. He's arguably the most 
like one of the most famous people on the planet, you know? Yeah. So the fact that he's been in this restaurant for this long so far without being like the Beatles level of people screaming, running at him. There's also like little girls in the restaurant too that just haven't seen him yet. Yeah. So a part of me is like, maybe it's him being like, just trying to like fucking keep his face covered. <laughs> Frantically while just... also just having cotton mouth. <laughs> yeah. And trying to, like, well, he like... was like eating super fast and he was like, you ready to go? Like he was like quickly like wanting <laughs> to get And then gagging the fuck... on the food yeah. because he wasn't hungry. <laughs> it was hungry. way too hot. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, he looked a little uh, he looked a little worse for wear, as you could see in that picture. But she is done. But then, uh, you know, I talked to them afterwards, and they were. Did you they, smell her seat were, when they left? They were so nice. No, the security escorted me out. But they were uh, <laughs> as I got my nose to it. I was like, ah! you know. But uh, they were both super fucking nice people, man. Like I, I felt bad because you could tell, like she was. Uh, it was like one of those things where they had to be nice in public because they can't be assholes to anybody. No, because they're so famous. It's like, oh, this is the time they were a fucking asshole to me. Yeah, yeah. And I don't have an. They were That's assholes to me. Story. It's a news story dude you should have told somebody that he grabbed your dick oh like can an, i start that rumor now you could uh, wait pop up the picture again is there any yeah you could say that's your, his arm well your smirk looks a bit uncomfortable so you can say it's because he's goosing you i yeah well he's goosing me while she's holding my dick yeah well, you have a bent dick. <laughs> it really dog legs right <laughs> yeah it always <laughs> tight jeans will do that to you <laughs> Um, check it out. I got this letter, yo. I got a letter from the government the other day. I opened it and read it. It said they were suckers. Yo, I got a letter from a particular person. I'm not going to say their name and shit. Want me to read it? Yeah. Here we go. Dear Mr. Danchman Jr. <laughs> I stumbled upon your podcast after hearing your Steve Harvey impression, which is absolutely spot on. However, I said when that however came. Ooh. <sighs> And they hit you with the however, with the with comma? However, comma. Ooh. Uh, after listening to more of your podcasts and your interesting anecdotes ew, about your relationships with women, I am confused by the dichotomy. I'm st- dichotomy? Why are you trying to be why, super, why? super? Come on. What is this, the New York I, Times? We know, right. We know what dichotomy <laughs> means, of which you speak. See, this Jesus is when I knew Christ. This is when I knew it was going to be some pretentious dichotomy. shit. Dichotomy. I, I don't I, it, listen, and you know we make fun of everybody, so I'm, I have to make fun of you writing me. The dichotomy of which you speak that 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 line makes my ass itch, Miss. That you who wrote this <laughs> that makes my ass just say I'm confused by what you said. Just say that. that yeah. I got to read this again. I am confused by the dichotomy <laughs> of what you speak. I'm sorry, sire. Fuck yeah. out of here with that. It's a Yale lecture paper. Now we're we're fucking with your shit because we're joking. Just to let you know, and the fact that yeah. I'm reading it on your shit makes me pay attention. So if you're taking this personally, I don't understand of the dichotomy of which you are complaining about. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> How about this? How is it that you profess your love for black women, which I do, pontificate? fervently i'm that's another come on we don't need you to say that you said just say just say how is it that you profess your love of black women and you say and black women are most disrespected of all races christen black women to be cre- queens i don't know if you spelled that right mm. christen black women to be queens Spell i check. never said women were i never said black women were queens no of course you are but i don't i don't i didn't use that term but then in the corresponding breath Espouse, of course, oh, dude. God. I can't right now. She what is said, going espouse, on? Espouse, stop. We <sighs> espouse such denigrating sentiments. You're using. You're you're what? over. There's too many what? words. Your shit's too wordy. I had to look up espouse. Oh man. Esp- well, espouse such denigrating. You know, like espouse, Ad- is like adopt or support. Or, adopt or support. Yeah. What are you, such Ernest de- Hemingway? Yeah, yeah. Espouse <laughs> such <laughs> denigrating sentiments. Regarding your sexual conquest, just oh my god, what is that? <laughs> sexual conquest with black and other races of women? Yeah, I first of all, let me. I tell wish you. I had read this and translated it to like layman's terms. Layman's terms, yeah. like how are you talking about us like this and you keep using the words bitch and whore? Yeah, there. That's all. How about that? Paraphrased it. What? That the was fuck? too wordy, uh, Miss uh, Smartass. She's you, trying too hard. See, you're trying too hard. She must all be right? like a college. Oh, person. oh, oh, oh! What? Check this out. Check this out. I understand that your interminable use of the word bitch and whore is an instrument of your comedic raison d'être. No way. Raison d'être. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does that mean? 
it's like your reasons of to to be or something. Well, let's look up raison. Raison in French, raison is like reason. Raison. It's, d'être. This is it's like this. D'être. You you combine when it's a a, a, a vowel. This is Watch, unbelievable. R a i s o n. Raison d'être. But it, <laughs> it's like your reason. <laughs> What does this come with a work side? I'm sorry, page? I don't know about your je ne sais quoi, lady. <laughs> okay, read that. What does it say? You can uh, see me? it better than me. Yeah. Uh, the most important reason or purpose for someone or something's existence. Raison see, d'être. I said, I said d'être. I said reason to be. Yeah. E- être means to be in French. And raison means reason. Not a raison. Raison. Do I call to me? Raison. 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 Because if it was raisin, it'd be raisin. Raisin. I is an. Okay. So see, I know, I know these words, Miss. So you didn't have to do that. <laughs> and that your real life experiences are the wellspring. <sighs> wellspring. Fucking a man. Let's look up wellspring. What? We're breaking down her letter. She could be like, they broke down my letter. You damn right. And I want you to fucking show your friends this episode. Here we go. A wellspring yeah. is an original and bountiful source of something. <laughs> I know. A wellspring. Just the word lets you know. Wellspring. Like She's showing oh, off. Oh, she's showing, showing off, off at this point. I, I, so you look like you had a thesaurus in your hand while you were writing this <laughs> shit. Experiences are the wellspring for your comedy. You should have said my comedic antics. <laughs> it reminds me of like in college, uh, we had to read these like academic articles yes. that had good content, mm-hmm. but like they took hours to break. T- you had to break it down for like such a long time just to understand one sentence. You have to go back and read the sentence over and over. It's, it's too yeah. much. Yeah. Too much. I think her anti disestablishmentarianistic ways are getting on my nerves, huh? Not trying to be facetious. I, uh, huh, but let me tell you. I concur. Uh, you concur because this is a physiologically fucking inept type of way of writing and i do oh. not like your penmanship <laughs> that's that's what i'm sound that's what it is yeah here however it is difficult for me as a black woman to hear such things well how about just a woman as a black woman to hear such things such things and prefacing your statements with i don't mean all women when i say this and i mean the truth if i call a woman a bitch and she's being a bitch. She's a bitch. Just her particular being a bitch, acting like a bitch. If I call, it's like calling a dude an asshole or dick, whatever. I've called a woman an asshole. You know what I mean? So as a black woman, that bitch doesn't always mean you. Mm. Feel me? I can use that word if I want to. A lot of black women use, yo, that motherfucker ain't shit. That w- I know you don't mean me, but yeah. I think you're being a little sensitive with that. I've heard you call men a bitch before. I call men bitches. You yeah. didn't, did you speak up for black men? When I call them bitches, huh? Miss uh, Academia, huh? Huh? Hello? <laughs> Where's your dichotomy? <laughs> okay, watch this. Oh, oh. I don't mean all women when I say this does not remove its injurious stink. Just doesn't. Dude, I re- can't. I can't. Yeah, that, that was redundant. I can't. That was redundant. I can't. Injurious stink. That was your. Nah. No. We're nope. good. That was too much. We're all set. Injurious causing. Or- or likely to cause danger or harm. So just say sting. Remove oh its sting. Injurious sting, you you became redundant. Do you know, we know what redundant means? We all know what redundant means. That's like of saying a feline cat. <laughs> Unfortunately, most listeners will hear more negative things that you and your co-host say instead of, that's not the truth. It's not the truth, miss. You're you're now you're stereotyping. You're projecting. You're projecting what other, a lot of, we get most of our, and listen, I expect criticism. I don't expect everybody to like what I say. We, I told you this shit before. I told you I'm a profane individual. I'm not going to stop cursing. I'm not. I'm not going to. Everything is not going to be perfect with what we do. We're, we're comedians. We talk hard shit. Gas digital, period. You're going to hear some shit. You're going to hear us keep it real. But you know what? The world is too politically correct. It's too much. I'd rather be this. And go, oh, we said this. The world's too politically correct, and political correction is bullshit. Because the same people that are telling us to be politically correct are just as racist, misogynist, and fucked up as all of us. They're fucking wealthy, racist, misogynist motherfuckers that are telling us to watch what we say. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And it's fucked up. And it's like, you're being extra sensitive, and I mean it when I say. And, and another thing, too. 
Not only do I say that I, I support black women, I actually try to do shit for black women, just to let you know that. Of course. What are you doing for black men? Since I'm, I'm being specific, what are you doing, miss? I don't want to say your name because it's not fair. What are you doing for black men? How about that? What are you doing for us? You know what I mean? You wrote, It's easy to write something go, you shouldn't have said it. But I will, if I say somebody's a bitch, I'm going to say you're a bitch, period. You can call me an asshole if I'm being an asshole. If you're a bitch, you're a bitch. I've called women assholes. I call men bitches. I'm going to call you the name. I mean, I'm being specific. So if you think it's all and you think every black woman, nah, because there's hundreds and hundreds of black women that like what I'm doing. You know, I can't be perfect on everything. You know, and you say, well, you, fu yeah, I fucked all kind of women. Yeah, I have. Of course. I'm not lying to you. Because if I said I never did, you'd be like, oh, you lying. Right, right, right. And I tell you the truth. But this is an example of why a lot of people cannot handle the truth. When they say they want an honest man and you're that honest, I'm talking real honesty, not that fake shit. Real honesty, now it's, oh, I can't handle the sting. Shouldn't listen to the podcast. So get bit when you battle by that Puerto Rican snake. Ain't that your poor villain? Leads in a sketch. It's a compilation. I got into a hole of crazy ex-girlfriend losing their shit videos on guys. Oh, no. And I found one particularly where this girl, it's a compilation, but I think it's the first one of a girl. She's me and Kim. She's doing pretty violent shit to his car and him. And this guy's tone never gets above like, uh, she just shot my father in front of me. Like, she's he's so like, he's so even tempered to the whole thing. He's institutionalized. He's being battered on camera. It's like Brooks. And his car, yeah. All right, play. Do you have it, Bobby? Let's see the domestic abuse. Let's, oh, I've let's seen this it. before. Bust my windows. Oh. Okay, she has That's something That's my ex-girlfriend. Wait, turn it up loud. You got to hear this guy's voice. You never owned a car. Bust my windows. Okay, she has something in her hand to bust <laughs> windows with. There's just a documentary of this one. She just bust my window. She just busted it. She like, just, just fucked my, my shit car. up. I actually just got painted over because she sides like it. <laughs> like, oh it just God. missed him. <laughs> Wait, back it up, Bobby, because everyone's got to qu quiet down just enough to hear. That happens. Dude, misses that him by inches, and he goes, she just hit the car now. Silky, like, silky like, smooth. It's like he's watching footage Amazing. of himself. He's not yeah. believing anything he's seeing. Like this is, no, it's that dude is sleepwalking. No, this isn't the first yeah. time it's happened. He fucking I know, but he's like, yeah. oh, once again, yeah. I just had a near miss of instant death. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, let's play his reaction. He's fucking Atwell just watching fucking animals fucking shit. He's the man for that. Because what? she sighs like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's also kind of great. Now she's reversing. She, she just hit my car. She hit. His first three letters of his uh, license plate are twerk, though. It's oh, hell yeah. Two that's, how, that's how we got her. It's twerk. Over, because she sides like it. Oh, that's 100. Terry just did that. Now she is reversing. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's finishing up in the car. She's Hold out on. again. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. She's By the way, this chick fucks good for sure. Oh, God. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Can we she's all... only reacting like this because she's hot in some way, and she's never, no guy has ever, she can't believe someone's she just like not into it. This yeah. way them titties no, but, can no, we, all, no, can no, we also no, say, no, hold on, hold on. She, she's this, got this a Benz. Just... She's got a Benz, and he has a Nissan. Jay, no, no, the, 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 this chick is not acting this way because she's hot. She's acting yeah, this way because she's get fucking bad shit. No, no, hot girls, no fucking way. Hot dude. girls don't destroy your property. Just hot girls. I you're mean, wrong about. Girl, you're wrong. Hold on, right there, right there. That girl looks kind of hot. Yeah, she's best. I'm saying it's not, it's not this a is trait. Not, this is unrelated Guys, to her. Let me, let me, Lewis is absolutely It's right. not a trait no, of really crazy. hot chicks to be violently is, angry. Oh, no, for sure. No, this is a not. trait of crazy chicks. No, no, without a not doubt. Hot chicks. By the way, this guy is also furious. What he's doing <laughs> is he's controlling himself because he's already went into the area where he's like, I'm pressing charges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. getting this all on video. All on video yeah. I'm staying completely calm so no one can even think. And I'm he's probably, the by the way, guy a guy here. like this that's dating a bitch like this is also a fucking psycho. She's destroyed a lot no, of his... No, 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 let me, let me let make this point. That guy does point. not let, own a video let, game let, console. He's anymore. autistic is the fucking problem. Guys, let me make this point. It's a heavy dose of autism. He No, he... Yeah, Dave, Dave right. is right. He started videotaping and he was like, okay, 
Just be calm. Oh, yeah, yep. for sure. You, I'm going to fuck this bitch. There is a war going on inside of this People that right are this now, okay? crazy date each other. I'm telling you right now, there's, it's usually not one person he's who's like docile and is, friendly. He's literally turning off no. the camera. He's going, all right, she's in reverse now. And then he hits pause on recording, and he's like, I'm going to fucking kill yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. He, he, goes, he, goes, he goes, and that is all I have to show you, cops. And then he and then he stops, <laughs> and, he, and then he fucking like does that like flip backwards kick to her face. <laughs> like a Mortal Kombat fucking Liu Kang kick. <laughs> <laughs> that was my fucking Nissan! <laughs> I dropped out to work, you bitch whore! He, right he takes a sword yeah. right out of his hand. Ah! He's covered in blood. He's cutting himself to make points. I don't even care about nothing anymore. I don't care about nothing anymore. But he's, he's all bloody and the cops show up and he goes, Officer, the video tape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's covered in blood, so he goes, he goes, yes, this is uh, pretty much everything you're going to need. You know, you know, Rick this Flair is everything you'll need. <laughs> you know, Ric Flair actually actually hid an ex-wife and then opened up his wrestling wounds yeah, to start bleeding move. again. Really? It's a fucking yeah. heel move. Yeah. It's Real a heel, heel move. Dirtiest player in the game. Uh, you don't become the champ 12 Wait. times by not letting oh, him over the worst There's place. more. There's plenty more. Wait, really? Oh, really? Oh, well, no, no, no. It's not all her. The worst we, part we did only let it go 26 seconds of a 12-minute video. All right. Well, no, the twelve. It's not all her. This, this is a, does it's, it's a compilation like, uh, video. <laughs> it this is the guy, the though. real quick. Compilation. This guy's the guy, though. hard. He just paid that car off, too, which is really the saddest part. <laughs> Shit got him from college. That car had two, yeah, yeah, two days into retirement. He loved that car. That Dude, it's hot as shit in here. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? No. Yeah, shit. man. Take off your uh, hoodie. Have some, have, have some Take gloves. off your hooded sweatshirt and gloves. Yeah. It's winter. I'm wearing a hooded sweatshirt indoors. I shouldn't be profusely sweating. <laughs> It's nobody, hot here. Uh, nobody else is profusely sweating. Yeah, Except for the fact you, that Chris, oh, I'm not profusely sweating either, but Chris Stanley also. The other fat guy in a hoodie? Bronx Johnny's complaining about the heat. Fat guy in a long sleeve shirt. Okay, but you also oh, are. Uh, with, <laughs> <you're>, <laughs> don't fat shame him. <laughs> I'm wearing a hoodie and gloves. Winter gloves. Yeah, I know it's you. And Fingerless gloves. And, <laughs> and thermal underwear. Nope. How do your fingertips feel? No, keep it G. It's not the hair streak. I know it's you when I see the gloves. I was walking from Wendy's with my man. I'm like, oh, that's Big J. See branding, buddy. You see them fucking hands? <laughs> it's branding. <laughs> Do you think that when you see Lewis coming out with his Jeffrey Dahmer glasses out of an alley? I just, I, I, he I, just thinks Nate got fat. Yeah, no. I, I, I can't I, tell who the Whenever fuck I see is. butter, I think it's mark. fucking Lewis. <laughs> Doggy, you think that I wander into a gun range? <laughs> people love my glasses. You can talk no, all the bullshit. shit. Yeah, no, yeah. Nate. Look, they love it. You putting that off? Lewis. Lewis. Clap if you like it. Do they love that you? guy on mushrooms? Clearly hates him. I and people, say that, yeah. people love my gloves for the same thing, just more. Nope. That's your brand. I That's not true. It. That's cool. The, the fucking Lewis. Shade. Did they love your glasses before or after you threatened them? <laughs> Threaten them. I'm telling you right now, I've gotten more attention from the ladies since I've started wearing these glasses and my facial hair. Then. Well, they're blown away. The that fucking you... one uh, when you fucking smack the fucking wall with your hand, like. Hey, where you going? You stole a you look from... that to that waitress when she has to go home after... You stole a look from a friend. I didn't steal a look from a friend. You did. He's an employee. Terry Richardson? <laughs> Terry Richardson. Oh, <laughs> He's a shit. fucking rapist. Yeah. <laughs> Pedophile photographer? <Celebrity laughs> photographer, Terry Richardson. I stole it from a mentor. <laughs> Selena Gomez, let me see that bush for the picture. It's great for the shoot. It's good um, for the shoot. The, with the white backdrop? Your bush? I, dude, my fucking... Whatever, dude. Talk all your shit you want. I'm not talking shit. You talk all that shit? No. Oh man! You popping just, all that shit, dog. You're wearing Jay, those. You were you were talking some shit. Fuck those, <laughs> dude. Fuck those glasses. Oh. Yo, fight my black friend from Philly. Well, she acts black. <laughs> but uh, she has a black cousin. She has a black cousin. Oh, dude, I would triple rent. threat match. I Dave bet you, Smith, Louis J. Gomez, we could more. easily afford to rent her for the table for one week for the show. <laughs> that girl she just sits oh. with black baby and just fucking rocks. Her parents would sell her to, would sell her to us. Put her sure. up on the mega bus, cheap. It's like She's definitely bucks. not going to be able to not shut up. You know what I mean? Like, like no oh, matter how here. much money you offered her, there's no way she's not going to talk. She'll keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, over and over again. She does. She's she's years away from understanding why she sounds retarded. But that's why you got to respect special her. needs. Come on. Sorry, why she sounds special needs. <laughs> go ahead, go to the uh, continue the video. Let's see what happens. What else we so got? So much more racist. <laughs> what else is she gonna do? I hope she shits on the hood. Wait, there she is after she ran into my car again. She ran into his car again for the. Um, yeah, that's fine. Show you that. I don't that's care. Oh wait, wait, wait. Anybody know where this video goes? Some people yeah, know it. I don't. Last time. And I love this shit. <laughs> He's in sandals? What's... He's a calm man. Calm people with him. He stays sure, calm. Man. Wish there were Crocs. Oh, no, he's barefoot. Yeah. 
At least a drifter. Shit, he's fucking came <laughs> from kung fu and shit. I mean, he takes some real chances. Oh, oh whoa! Was, uh, of course, she was beating me with a like, piece of iron or something. What? I just got know what it was. And just hit him with the car. <laughs> and runs him over. Oh, holy shit! Holy shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Shh. Oh. Hit me over with her car. <laughs> He's still calm, dude. <laughs> she just hit me with the car. Just did a 360. Yo, he's like yeah, getting, yeah. He's like getting not, Norton's not, Fight Club. I'm not too pleased with her. Uh, I think at one point she even goes, why won't you take me camping? I think she asked that question before this is over. What the fuck? He should just take her camping. Just uh, take her camping, dude, at least. He's a fucking stunt double at that point. Getting hit with a fucking car. Take that, her, uh, take her that was the first. Holy that was shit. the first part of the video where I'm like, you know what? Part of this is on this guy. Yeah. I mean, he's literally standing barefoot in front of her car. But he's doing that. She just, she just cut he's my crazy. scalp. He's yeah. a crazy guy, too. I'm telling you right now. Because if you were really in danger like that, and he is, you would go inside the house. At this put, point, you got no, all the video footage shit. you need. No, At least no, put some shoes no on. <laughs> At the very least, you're like, I'm going to get some sneakers. This is dangerous. This guy didn't give a <laughs> fuck, dude. He was great. And he was so calm through everything. He goes, oh, maybe he's just I would just run over head. by a car. I think... I'm guessing 15 broken boats. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll take her back too. I coughed up a lung. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. My uh, my bone just went through my leg. Guys, <laughs> swipe up if you think I should take her camping. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I'm literally the only reason that I'm happy to be single is because I never have to deal with arguing with a chick. Like, it's the arguing with a chick is the worst. Yeah, but you don't think like you're a serial data. You don't go I was a long. Sarah monogamous, but no yeah, longer. But I, I Lewis, are you really out that. of the game of I'm arguing out with chicks? Yeah, have you not arguing with chicks? When's the last time you argued with a chick? Genuinely. Oh, with the waitress tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's arguing with somebody. <laughs> as soon as the check comes. I, what was your last argument with a woman as not? I venture to guess Lewis is in the middle of three different arguments with three I agree. <laughs> I, b- right I believe now. during I w- this podcast, I haven't. I would, I, w- I would price this right. You and just go one for sure. Uh, but <laughs> it's such a dick move, but it's, it's a dick it's move. Good strategy. Because I because I believe it, I believe it's probably two. But if I say one, I cover myself. Is that an argument? Yeah. It's no argument. Well, I mean, already. So one one of us is right already. There's no argument. Lewis, I hate you. I fucking hate you, bitch. But this isn't an argument. Because <laughs> we're not even dating. I'm single. We're not even fucking dating, so fuck you, bitch. <laughs> That's not an argument. That's me explaining the, the boundaries of our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Lewis, you, have, you have no idea how close you are. <laughs> I know. Holy shit. Obviously. Uh, Lewis is having substantially more arguments. Get off my back, ladies. I don't want you. Yeah. I'm single. <laughs> All four of you, listen! I'm single! <laughs> What's your name? I call you Wednesday. Wednesday, listen! I'm saying you can't be calling me all Thursday. Thursday gets furious! <laughs> weekend thinks we're moving in together soon. You're She's all weekend! You're in over your head. Is that a state property to reference? Weekend, do you like breakfast? <laughs> or sleep in? Like- have a go. Over here. Oh, fucking grease boy. Let's go from there. We're waiting for a countdown or something. No, go for we're it. We're just going. All right. Let me get this straight. The entire South is stupid? Yes. The entire South, Father. Everyone from Kentucky down there is as dumb as a day is long. I'm surprised they can get and find the front door in the morning to fight a war. That's how fucking stupid they are down there. Might I remind you that the Bible clearly states, thou shall not kill. I don't know who wrote the Bible, but whoever did never met these fucking morons. A bullet in their head is the only thing these rednecks understand. You know they have sex with their own family members down there? Tell me. God is doing cartwheels over that? Bunch of banjo playing inbreds. They are good at the banjo for some reason. They can't play the guitar for shit. But for some reason, their little inbred fingers know their way around a banjo. I always found that strange. Let me stop you right there, Greg, because I need that again. That's a great, that's a great instance. Uh, I'd like to do try it like, because uh, that's a good, we have that now on tape. But let's do the, do it as a throwaway. It's like, I don't know who wrote the Bible, but whoever did never met these fucking morons. Let's do it less angry now and okay. more like you're throwing it away. Yeah, like, they're pieces of shit. You don't care. Yeah, yeah okay. it's, like, it's like, I don't know. Like, you're just telling father, like, right. I don't know. You ever met these people? Okay. Excellent great. note. 
texture. Can I get a lead in? <laughs> We're adding texture to it, Justin. Fantastic. We really no, are. Adding good. Good. really a lot of texture to that. Bobby, could you lead in with Might I Remind You? That was a great the way you did that. That was perfect. That was gorgeous. Might I remind you that the Bible clearly states, thou shall not kill. I don't know who wrote the Bible, but whoever did never met these fucking morons. A bullet in the head is the only thing these rednecks understand. You know, they have sex with their own family members down there. Tell me God is doing cartwheels over that. Bunch of banjo playing inbreds. They're good at the banjo for some reason. Can't play the guitar for shit. But for some reason, their little inbred fingers know their way around a banjo. I always found that to be strange. Fair enough. What else you got? My wife is fat. Excuse me? My wife is fat. I know that's not a sin, but because she's fat, I'm, I'm not attracted to her, and I started sleeping with men. Mm. Homosexuality is against God's will. See, I knew you were going to say that, but I can't help it. If she's not going to take care of herself, I'm going to bang dudes. She doesn't even bother to keep herself clean. The guy I have sex with, his asshole is cleaner than my wife's pussy. My God, man. I, I know, Father. This is some grimy, grimy shit here. But in the interest of telling the truth, this is what is going on. And she is all over the place emotionally. They should just invent a jacket that you put on in front ways so crazy people can't move. A straight jacket? Are you taking a shot at me because I told you I banged dudes? Of course not, my son. I'm sorry. Please continue. Well, she spends money like we got it. I made $25,000 last year for being president. For being president of the United States! I know slaves who make more money. Do you think she spends any of that money to clean her pussy? No, not a penny. So I have to bang presidential aides and hope that I don't get presidential aides. Yeah. If you catch my drift, father. I know, aides won't be invented for another hundred years, but you get the joke. Pretty clever wordplay. But if you're going to keep laying down with men, I'm going to have to report you to the Pope. Homosexuality is the least of my problems. I get no appreciation for anything I do. I free the slaves, right? That's what I had to kill. All those fucking redneck inbreds. Anyway, I'm, I'm feeling uptight. Hold on, let me stop you right there Sorry. because we go into a big mm. tirade. <laughs> we go into a big tirade here. That's a mouthful. It's <laughs> great. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is where it really gets rich. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Some water. Let's Want a cigarette ahead. or something? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Go right ahead. Sorry. He goes, homosexuality is against God's will. I like how he really lays the hammer down because he, he uh, you know, he finds out, uh, Abraham Lincoln confesses okay. that he's homosexual. So the priest lays one okay. down. You know, this is Abraham Lincoln really just opening up. It's after the war. He's starting to unravel. There's a lot of stuff that people look at him as strong and silent and a, a symbol for the country. But he's a fucking, Justin, do you agree with me? No, he's a mess. Yeah, underneath yeah. this, <laughs> and he's dealing with a lot of other issues. Okay, his wife is is, is uh, chunky and doesn't clean herself. <laughs> um, he can't deal with people from the south; they're not smart and get, cause him a lot of strain. Um, so he's got all these underlying issues. I want to say yeah, when right I, I, to, to fantastic note, Mike. Fantastic, yeah, right. and just to elaborate on what Mike is saying and to sort of draw more out of that. Yeah, when he says, "See, I knew you were going to say that," but. When you say I can't help it, like like a drug addict breaking down, but I can't help it, and then fucking unravel for me. Show okay. me your soul on that. All right. You know, I yeah. can't help it, and yeah. let me feel the pain that's going on right. with you. Right. Well, look at all the texture we have here. We have your hatred for the little stupid people in the South. So we have this. Then we have your your your, your arrogance, yeah. and now is when we're really starting, yeah. which causes the priest to soften and right. want to hear you right. more. You're really yes. opening up. You're a fucked up, disturbed uh, do person. You, do you see it as opening up, Justin, or do you see it as unraveling? But, I mean, how do you see it? So, unraveling. 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 You're emotionally, yeah, you're, but you're, you're emotional very vulnerable. Un- you're vulnerable. You're this vomiting. Is- you're vomiting emotionally, you know? And yeah. then, which the priest is, you know, I think he's having some empathy, not for the specifics of what he's hearing about the homosexuality I think and all that- the other things, but rather he's like, okay, go on. This I, think is that's a person- a good, I think that's a good point. The, Thank priest, you. the priest is a man. Yes. He's a priest. He's a man of the cloth. But let's not forget he's a man. He's still a man. Yes, he's a man. And he has to hear the the the, the, the plight of another man. I so, mean, show me who you are. That's Greg. true. Show that's me who true. you are. So, um, uh, show I like me who you are, Bobby, Greg. I like what you're doing with it. You're laying down the hammer, but you're also empathetic in these lines. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, 
So let's start from fair enough, what else you got? Because he goes in this tirade. So you go, fair enough, okay. what else you got? And that kind of gets us into the next give segment. Give him an invitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really oh, let him... Sorry, look, okay. Yeah, give him the invitation to open up. That was a good point, <laughs> Thank Justin. you, Mike. Good notes, by the way. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. <laughs> Just, sorry, wait, okay? As Thomas a creator, Zach, yeah. Bobby, you, you see what we're doing, right? Yeah, I feel like Sam Jackson here streaming some of this shit. It's great. Good. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, let's go. I'm ready when you're ready, baby. Fair enough. What else you got? My wife is fat. Excuse me? My wife is fat. I know that's not a sin, but because she's fat, I'm, I'm not attracted to her, and I started sleeping with men. Open your heart. Open your heart. Go. Okay. Homosexuality is against God's will. See, I knew you were going to say that, but I can't help it. <sighs> if she's not going to take care of herself, I, I'm going to bang dudes. She doesn't even bother to keep herself clean. The guy I have sex with, his asshole is cleaner than my wife's pussy. My <laughs> God, man. I know, I know, Father. This is some grimy, grimy shit here, but in the interest of telling the truth, this is what is going on. And she is all over the place emotionally. They should just invent a jacket that, that you put on front ways so crazy people can't move. A straight jacket? Are you, talk are you taking a shot at me because I told you I banged dudes? Of course not, my son. I'm sorry. Please continue. She spends money like we got it. I made $25,000 last year for being president. For being president of the United States. I know slaves who make more money. Do you think she spends any of that money to clean her pussy? No, not a penny. So I have to bang presidential aides and hope that I don't get presidential aides. If you catch my drift, father. I know, aides won't be invented for another hundred years, but you get the joke. Pretty clever wordplay. But if you're going to keep laying down with men, I'm going to have to report you to the Pope. Homosexuality is the least of my problems. I get no appreciation for anything I do. I free the slaves, right? And that's why I had to kill all the redneck inbreds. Anyway, I'm just feeling uptight. I go down to the corner store to buy a pack of smokes, which used to be much cheaper before I ended slavery. By the way, but whatever, what's the price of progress? I get it. The African-American cashier asks me for ID. I tell her, Keisha. Honey, I left my ID at home. She says, you can't sell me cigarettes without an ID. I tell her, I'm 6'8". I have gray hair. What the fuck are you talking about? She says, I can't sell you cigarettes without an ID. I tell her, I'm the president of the United States. She don't care. She repeats real slow now. I can't sell you cigarettes without a valid ID. Finally, I shout, I'm on the fucking five. Here's my ID, you dim bitch. And I have a five with my picture on it in front of her face. Well, she flips the fuck out, starts taking off her earrings and shit like she wants to brawl. Her girlfriend holds her back and I get the fuck out of there. So much for gratitude. Am I right, father? Okay. That's great. Wow. That's really, because wow. he starts to like, he starts to really um, explode there. What up, motherfuckers? It's the Real Ass Podcast. It's your boy, Louis J. Gomez. Um, look, we had a couple more minutes left here on the show. I did make you guys write a list of things about me that you're most thankful for this year. Um, so, Nate and Shannon, without further ado. Did you get five? No, I have, oh. I didn't Is that five it. things, Shannon? Okay. I'll, I got I'll come five. Up with, I'll come up with two more. Can I, I can do my five. Go ahead, Nate, you go first. All right, one, introducing me to Zach. Uh... To going on tour soon so I can have days off. Uh, making me work with Shannon. I'm grateful for that. Uh, being a source of income to me. I like that. Mm. Uh, and my last one, helping me pad out my resume so I can get a legitimate job in podcasting. Thank mm. you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Any minute. <laughs> do, 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 do. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right, Nate. Now, loud and clear, Nate. Loud and clear. It's all a test. And you pass that test with flying colors. Don't you worry about it. You are going to fucking graduate on to some fucking bigger and better things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I don't need any help, Bobby. I got this. Thank you. Did Bobby play that? Yeah. <laughs> Shannon Lee Hire of the Thing Is podcast. Five things that you're most thankful for. But no, we're not going to edit this. 
<laughs> five things you're most thankful for about me specifically, you know, could branch out to, you know, Gas Digital, Real Ass Podcast, other things oh, as well. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. Technically. That'll help me with my last two. Go ahead. Okay. I'm thankful for the boost in Instagram followers that Lewis help, helped me to get. Say this is real stuff, Nate. Real stuff. She's actually thankful. Shannon, raise. <laughs> I was thankful for all that stuff. <laughs> Lying fuck. <laughs> Go ahead, Shannon. More. Um, I'm thankful I don't usually have to wait more than a week for Lewis to give me money he owes me. Th say that's why she gets paid. <laughs> <laughs> what came first, the horse or the cart? One <laughs> chicken or the egg? Who knows, right? Maybe you fucking start being a little appreciative. You get paid around here. Okay. Um, thankful Lewis only sexually harasses and demeans me instead of yelling at me like my male counterparts. Egg fucking exactly. Pretty good. <laughs> Stop yelling at her. Just try to fucking get in there. Get in there. <laughs> tight, tight puss. Take notes, everyone. Um, okay. <laughs> You've I... just got I'm thankful written. Yeah, I, I had an idea. What's the guy, the, guy, the guy on the internet whose like, bottom lip is like eating his face like the... Uh... Oh, yeah, the old man with no teeth? Yeah, yeah. That's what Shanna's pussy looks like. <laughs> it's got the eyes and Which everything. Which part of it? Yeah. The Fernellums. Yeah. <laughs> Shanna's pussy looks like Phoenix the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that phoenix the dog i would adopt him and make him a studio dog at all that'd be it's so good it's so funny uh, imagine but you don't say anything oh, like no. it wouldn't do guest come just every day just fucking uh, monroe and Derek running out the <laughs> door screaming it's a demon <laughs> it's, a, it's a jackal go ahead um Okay, I'm going to improvise these last two. I'm thankful to Lewis and Gas Digital for taking on The Thing Is onto the network. That's right. Edit that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thankful to Lewis and the network for making me a part of the shows wow. so that it expands the audience eventually for my show. Very good. Wow, Nate. <laughs> what? Wow, Nate. I mean, that's how you fucking get a little bit of fun. You at the That's how you get me on top of you pumping into you. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't That's do how that. You get me I don't want you to fuck me, please. Deeply making love to your body. See, mm. this is what you don't understand, Nate. Maybe you should understand. Shrug a little ego. Mm. Shrug a little ego, baby boy. And then what? Shrug a little ego. <laughs> right. I never thought of it like that. I know you, you haven't, dude. That's your problem. You need to open your mind, expand your horizons. Right. And then. Okay. Mm. That's why Shannon's become the fucking best producer on this network. All right. <laughs> well, that switched real quick. Just now. That's it. Shut up, pig. I see you back there. <laughs> oh, I know. She, oh, look at Bobby. He wants oh, to man. eat right now. I can tell he wants to eat. What a fucking slob. <laughs> fucking hang hungry slam slut. <laughs> <laughs> that deli lunch meat looks really good. <laughs> Shut up, Bobby. You remind you anything? So hard on it. <laughs> oh, my God. How many fucking piles of affliction t shirts has Bobby been fucked in? What do you think? A lot. Only one. Oh. All right. There's really not much else. No. You know, what am I most thankful for, you ask? Yeah, go on. Being able to keep thoughts to myself. <laughs> Zach? What are you most thankful for this year, Zach? This is the year. It's been a big year for you. Your professional wrestling career is taking off. You uh, one day will get half of the, the money from this podcast. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep bringing it up. It's the last time I'm yep. ever fucking mentioning it, and I'm done. Go mm -hmm. work for yourself. Work. I'm not your fucking manager. I'm not your agent. Okay. So, what are you most thankful for, Zach? Thankful that this is the year I feel like I finally found my voice on this show. Yes. This is. I'm talking a little more. I'm doing bits. I got, you I got my dead bits. koala in it. I got my my, my <laughs> bird right. koala. Your dead koala is fucking dope. dope. Yeah. I got dark uh, web. Dark Web Night is phenomenal. Fantastic. Yeah, I got I got characters. There. American Indian Zach. That's fine. Yeah, it's, that's a new one that's okay. sticking. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's sticking. American Indian Zach is sticking around. Okay. Um, what else have you got? That's it for right now. You have me just really screamy yelling yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You're building a character repertoire, and I like that. Yeah, I'm bringing more to the show. I'm happy. About bringing it. more to the show. I appreciate that too. And this is why Zach, you are going to get forty percent of the revenue from this. I lost that percent. <laughs> I mean, I thought about it. I mean, I should get more technically. Should I not? Anyway, whatever. Whatevs. Who cares? You're also a lot more colorful this season. Mm. I enjoy that. I really like the rainbows. Thank you. Yeah, I like the fact that you have a new outfit every week, Zach. Yeah, every that. show. He really fucking cares, guys. That's what we're looking for, okay? Of all the second bananas on a 
Puerto Rican's third most popular podcast. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> but this one is, and this, I'm also thankful for this podcast. I'm thankful for this audience. I did see this compilation of Ariana Grande perverted oh moments my from God. Nickelodeon. We yes. should watch that. Pull it up, Bobby. Ariana Grande. Um, sexualized on Nickelodeon. Sexualized on Nickelodeon was the video. Yep. Where did I see that? I don't know, but it freaked me it's out. It's bad. It's scary. It's really, really bad. And it was shot by Dan Snyder. I mean, that's not surprising, but I mean, the whole, the, the idea of like, it, there's no hidden message in there. The, nothing is contextual. No, it's very. It's like so sexual. It's very clear what's going on. And it's, it's crazy. The guy, okay, so for those of you who don't know, Ariana Grande, the pop singer, used to be a Nickelodeon star before she was a singer. And she used to be on this show called Victorious. And Dan Snyder, which was the producer of most, like a bunch of Nickelodeon shows like back Zoe in the day. Zoe 101. Zoe 101. Drake and Josh, I'll bet. Mm -hmm, yeah. All of those. Uh, don't play it yet. All of those shows, they, um, it, they, it came out that Dan Snyder was like, a weirdo he was obsessed with feet he would like tell the girls that they could get spin-off shows they just had to like come in the back and let him tickle their feet he like would and and um britney spears his little sister jamie lynn spears who was a star of uh, zoe, 101. zoe 101 got pregnant during the show and quit and left nickelodeon and it's rumored that he is the father Okay, I mean, and he is disgusting. Knows? He's looking. really awful. Her daughter is so cute, so cute, so cute. Um, he looks like the girl that was doing my nails. <laughs> Round and lazy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, okay, yeah, let's see this video. It's crazy. Child stars are known to be sexualized ruthlessly. We need audio. And Ariana Grande was a target. Wow, like I bet nobody else on earth has ever said those exact words that I just said. That happens to me a lot. So now, just for fun, I'm going to say three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said before in the history of mankind. Sentence number one. Oh, man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. Pause See? it. Uvula. What's a uvula? It's a thing in your throat, but it also sounds like a part of your vagina. It does. It has like a really, uh, like a sexual. Vulva. Yeah. Sounds like vulva, uterus. Uvula. Yeah, it's it's a combination of uterus and vulva. Yeah. Okay. That could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. Okay, so now she literally stuck her finger she, in her mouth. She gagged herself. And gagged herself. I mean, okay. So there's no way you could get it stuck between a hamster's toes. Sentence number three. Ah! I'm soaking wet. Quick, somebody bring me the ocean. There's no one would ever literally no context there. Just there's. It starts with, I'm soaking wet. That, wow. Why? Okay. Because if you were soaking wet and you were upset about it, the last thing you'd want is for somebody to bring you the ocean. Because the ocean is even more wet than even the wettest person in the world. Have you ever tried to get your There's no jokes in here. It's like the ramblings of a retarded young <laughs> whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Dan Schneider's coming right now. This is gross. That's crazy, man. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. Okay, now she's just yeah, jerking yeah, off, a jerking potato. off a potato, and she's opening her mouth like it's a dick. Eyes closed. Is it possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? I know where this is going. <gasps> Who asked I'm to thirsty. see that? <laughs> she's just pouring it all over herself. Not possible. Her tiny teenage boobs are like hanging up in her this face, is like in a video. <laughs> Come on, give up the juice. Okay, she's telling the potato that she's jerking off to give up its juice. <laughs> Imagine what life would be like with hippopotamus teeth. Okay, what? In yeah. the fuck. How old do you think she was there? Like 13? Probably 14, 13, yeah. Whose parents let them do that? Where's her mother? Right? Where's her mom? How much money do you think she got paid 
for what is that? Was that a segment on the show? Is that clips from the show Victorious, I, I, or is yeah. it like a side? Her thing? character's supposed to be stupid on the show. Okay, that comes across. They're nailing it. <laughs> You're doing good, but she's less slutty on the show. She's not jerking off potatoes. That is crazy. Pouring water, laying upside down on a bed Have with you her ever head hanging off. To see a teenage girl pour water all over herself. <laughs> that was really good. That was such a great impression. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Um, I would feel inappropriate me doing that. Like I wouldn't. I would never at this age take those videos. No. And let them be seen. Well, do you by think she anyone. knew then? Do you think she knew? What was happening? Um, I mean, somebody in the was, room knew. Do you think she was directed? I think she was directed, but I think someone in the room knew. But do you think she knew? I'm not sure. No, Bobby? I don't think so. It's so sad. There's no way. I don't think so. She's playing it like a little girl. She's like, she's playing it like a Disney character, you know? Yeah. Like, Ugh. can we Google Dan Schneider? I want to see what he looks like. Yeah. Alex, have you seen him? I'm so wet. Somebody bring me the ocean. Is that good? She's um, it's got to be more like out of breath. Like, <gasps> I'm so wet. Somebody bring me the ocean. No, but you're a whole different kind of slut. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> For sure. I mean, it works. Thanks. <laughs> I'd like to put my own spin on things. Oh, fuck. He's so gross. Pull him up. Pull yeah. Him up. Let's see a see picture Dan of this Schneider. motherfucker. This, this child animal. fucker. He's no. so, he looks That's like he's real. wearing a fat costume. It really looks like somebody photoshopped him <laughs> on Fat Bastard. Yes. <gasps> he no. looks like Fat Bastard. That's unreal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got so much chin weight, he's bro. He's so heavy. He could probably lose like seven pounds from his face and and look look okay. Yeah. Like seven full pounds from his face. Look at him. Look at, what's that picture on the bottom left corner with the girl? Yes, show That's us that. That's really bad. She's sitting on his lap. He's like grabbing her butt. She's, I can't see. She's my nine or so. <gasps> hold on, hold on. Oh, no, that is not hell real. No, we can see it. Oh, no. no. She's so little. She's on set with him for something. They have matching lanyards on. No. I don't know who she is, though. She's like, my mom says I'm going to be a star. <laughs> <laughs> she says, just hang in there tonight, sweetie. <laughs> wow. Mommy says she'll sew me up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Daddy said the doctor would give me the extra stitch. <laughs> yeah, he really liked this girl, Miranda Cosgrove. Mm -hmm. I was all about her Look on at Drake him and, and Josh. Ariana Grande at the bottom. She played the bitchy little sister on Drake and Josh before she got the show. It was great. Oh God, I bet Ariana Grande fucking hates him. Yeah, look how close she had to get her little sweet pristine fucking facial skin had to touch his cheek. Ew, his gross double cheek. He's got four faces. I hate him. It's crazy how big this guy's fucking. He fucked Jamie is. Lynn Spears. No, he and had a, a baby with her. He put a baby in her. I virgin think vagina. that her daughter looks like him. I in mean, the in the eyes. Yes. Shit. Holy shit, she does. Right? Yes. They have Can you the go to, same. Uh, Jamie, Jamie Lynn, Lynn Spears, Spears Instagram, or just search her daughter. Either way is fine. He li she literally does have his eyes. I've now seen that it. I look at oh, it. I did this whole. She has eyebrow, the eyebrow thing yep. going on. Yeah, she's cute. She's adorable. She's like, and he's not bad looking. He's just fat. You know what I'm saying? I can't even tell at this point. <laughs> but you could tell, like he doesn't. It's like your girl at the nail salon. You know, would you, do you? Could you tell if she'd be pretty? No, she no. She's an ugly, fat, lazy pig. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hate her. So you think you think Dan Snyder could be kind of cute if he lost 175 yeah. pounds? If he lost 375 pounds, he would be kind of cute. Okay, so that's the daughter. And then can we pull up next to it? Do we have the ability to compare and contrast? Uh, I see it in the eyes literally already. I mean, as soon as you said it, I kind of saw it. Yeah, the eyebrows. Like they... I hate that I know exactly what Jamie Lynn Spears' daughter looks like from memory. That kind of upsets me. Yeah. But she's so cute. And I'm they like, have the same eyebrows. Yeah. They have a resemblance. I mean, look at the nose. Look at oh the smile. God. Look at the smile. Oh, my God. Do That's they look gross. alike to you guys? Do they look alike to you? I, I definitely see it in their eyes. And the the eyebrows. eyebrows. I see it in the nose, too, now that you a mention it. The, the shape too. of the nose. Zoom it. Can you zoom in to Dan Schneider a little? Do you see it, Frank? Oh my no, god. No, that's fucked up. The eyebrows for sure. Yeah. Whoa. I think that's the father. That's fucked up. I remember she never said who the father was. No, she didn't. She was she really just left private about it. She was mm -hmm. like really ashamed. She's like, I'm a religious girl. I'm gonna keep oh, the baby. It's so sad. Yeah. It's so sad. 
The daughter's gorgeous, though. They, Look, I you mean, can tell he has nice facial features. Can you not? He has really good eyebrows. He's got a fine nose. You, he's obviously has a chin. He's got more than a, a chin. Couple of them. He's got enough chin. I think if he lost weight, he could look like Josh Dumel. Can you show me Josh Dumel? I don't know. I, I think he could be okay looking. But then in that case, who just doesn't who doesn't just lose the weight? It's hard. You work in Hollywood, man. I've been trying she's, to dude, I'm talking. supposed to be on TV. I've been trying to lose just seven pounds for years. <laughs> it's not easy. But you gotta make all these like cute kids feel comfortable. Like you gotta be presentable. They don't care. They still gave them those toes. You still fucking they them. Spread somehow. those toe cheeks. Damn. <laughs> spread those toe cheeks, girl. <laughs> Now it's time for the bishops to dress with our bishop. Give it up for Andrew Casertano. Keep it going for Matt Marin, everybody. Yeah, how you guys doing? Let's connect. Uh, keep it going for Philadelphia. Keep it going for the Liberty Bell. It has a big crack in it. Where'd you guys get that thing? France gave us a Statue of Liberty. Our pizza is the best. That's because we have the best water. We also come the best. Our water tastes like cum. That's why we have the best dough. You're eating cum. Welcome to New York. Taste.com. Uh, my last couple times up here, I haven't done that well. That's because Kim Congdon wasn't here. <laughs> There was no reason to do well. <laughs> What's up, Kim? Remember that time I won that Roastmasters tournament a few weeks ago? <laughs> I won that money for you. Let's run away together. Uh, I tried to buy Kim a drink with the money I received, and she said no because she knows in her hot little heart I could never protect her. Uh, I have a milky body. Who wants to drink my milk? <laughs> Shane Gillis was here tonight making fun of our leader and his brutal lisp. My name is Matt Mowen. My hosting is brutally honest. No fucking pity claps. I'm on your side, Shane. All right. Uh, Luke versus Dwayne. Big farm boy from Seattle versus a little hunky boy. We all want to kiss. <laughs> what a fight. Remember when he was like, your dad is gay. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, Justin versus Rachel. You look like a retarded meatball. Come here. Let me have sex with you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God, your pussy feels so weird. I'm gonna roast you later, so bad. I'm so lonely, man. I wish I had a meatball to have sex with. <laughs> hey, Andrew, show the audience how you have sex with your mother's meatballs. No, I can't do that. Show them, Andrew. Hey, Mom, did you cook meatballs for me tonight? Oh, put it on the table. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Ma, why is Dad watching? I can't believe I'm fucking the meatballs. <laughs> Oh my God, this is gonna be a bit in my act. It will be. Oh, I'm fucking your meatball. Oh, I'm having sex, mommy. I'm finally having sex with your meatballs. Oh, oh, mommy made me meatballs. I'm having sex with them. Who wants to come? All right. Uh, guys, tonight I want to say be easy on yourselves and have fun. Thank you so much. That's it for me. Yeah. The Bishop, Andrew Casertano. This is from the new album, Come Back World. Right in our studio, Joseph Author, performing live. Take it away, sir. Riding on a streetcar Holding on Past the hourglass shop Where they're pawning off your storm On Elysian fields at the crack of dawn One of the mornings when it feels Like you only just begun Yeah, yeah Only just begun yeah, yeah Riding on a streetcar Without you Lately I've been wondering What I'm even holding on to But if I could change things Baby, you'd still be the one Sometimes I hear you whisper in the wind We 
We've only just begun Yeah, yeah 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 Run, no, 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 no. You don't have to run, no, 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 no. You don't have to run, no, 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 no. no. Riding on a street. Car, this one goes out of town Goes up into outer space Around the moon, even underground But the last time you and me chased the sun After I kissed you, you turned to me and said We've only just begun Yeah, yeah Only just begun yeah, yeah, only just begun. Yeah, yeah, only just begun. Yeah, yeah, only just begun.